Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today I'm super excited because we get to unbox and review the new Mares Regulator Epic ADJ82X air system that we've got available on our site. This is Mares' top of the range air system, and the first thing we notice in this really big box is that, that funky orange, neon orange sticker at the front. It says certified performance at 200 meters and proven technology at 400 meters. That means that this regulator out the box can dive to 200 meters and they've tested it at 400. So it's a full hardcore air system. So let's open up the box and see what's going on. So opening up the box to have a look at it, the first thing you'll notice is, check at the size of that first stage. Pretty big. We're going to take it out and have a look. So let's uh, open it all up over here. Ooh, comes in like a showroom display. It says epic, really like that. There's a whole bunch of warranties and guarantees and finger trees. And we'll move that guy for the warranty. We'll hang on to that definitely. And instruction manual. Very important. You read your instruction manual beginning to end so you fully understand the complete workings of your air system. Alrighty, so let's open this guy up to see what's going on over here. I'm just going to pull the air system out so we can get a good look at it. Ah, ah there we go. And then I pull this. Uh, so, real mission to get out there. Come on, come on. Ah, here we go, there we go. Anything else in there? No. No. Nothing in there. We can recycle that. So, uh, let's have a look at the air system itself. The really, really big guy, the top of the range. Um, in Afrikaans, they would refer to this as the Manier. In Zulu, they would refer to it as the Makulu boss. Makulu meaning like big daddy, like how's your father of all regulators. So that's what we have here. So let's start with the first stage and work our way down to the second stage. The first stage is the Mares 82X um, air system that they've got. And you see it's a really big air system in comparison to all the others. The reason for that is it's got a lot of stuff going on inside and it needs to perform at those super deep depths. So you could use this whole regulator setup as a full tech setup to dive Trimix if you get it cleaned correctly. But this current unit as it stands here is set up as a recreational unit to dive up to 40% oxygen or nitrox mix. So back to the first stage, it is a fully balanced first stage and environmentally sealed as well. Um, it has um, four low pressure port ports at the bottom. What I really like is the fact that it can swivel. This is the first of the Myers regulators that has got a swivel at the bottom. So if you've got the regulator plugged into your cylinder, this swivel over here allows some adjustment of the hoses around uh, the, the back coming to your mouth. Sometimes you find these regulators can pull you a little bit uh, to the side if your cylinder is not positioned correctly. This will go a long way to fix that. And then you've got uh, two high pressure ports, ports which have been already angled at, an, at a degree that makes it much easier for you to add your uh, additional hose or your uh, transmitter as well as your analog pressure gauge as well down the side. So I really like that. The other thing that the regulator's got is the Mares dry system on their first stage. So this DIN system over here has a dry valve at the bottom of that DIN fitting. Essentially what the dry, dive, dry valve does, dry dive, dry drive valve does is uh, when the cylinder is closed or the, the relay is not connected to a cylinder it shuts that doorway so nothing can get into the first stage it keeps it uh, almost hermetically sealed which is great when you attach it to the to the cylinder and open it up the pressure opens up the doorway and allows the air in when you turn the cylinder off and depressurize the doorway closes it stops any water from getting into the first stage uh, when water gets into a first stage it travels through the chambers and sits on the poppets and it causes it to leak or over pressure it causes what we call interstage pressure creep which travels down the hose and bubbles out of the, the second stage. The only way to stop that is to send the entire regulator away for a complete clean and service. So one of the other things I like about this first stage is they coated it in this really awesome like gunmetal um, powder coating. So this will make it age a lot better as well. It's super, super scratch resistant and it looks really hardcore as well. So there's your benefits of the 82X air system. You've got the swivels and the ports and that uh, dry section and it is balanced as well. And you can use it at super deep depths. Amaras have got their hose protector, the standard hose protector over there to stop it from pinching, as well as their high quality braided hoses. And then you come down to their 
epic regulator second stage. So this has got a lot of technology built into it. This is also a balanced second stage. So all the other Myers regulators are unbalanced. It's got a doorway that opens and closes, which is assisted by the VAD, which we'll get to in a sec. But this regulator has a balanced second stage as well as an adjustment knob on the left-hand side here. So essentially what that means is, is there a barrel, there's a barrel in here which is now mechanically assisted to open and close, making the breathing resistance a lot less. So you get what's called your WAB, your work of breathing with this regulator, with this balance first stage and balance second stage is a lot lower. So with a lot of other regulators, you'll pop the rig in your mouth and you're breathing, you have a to breathe. This will have a minimal, what we call cracking pressure. So your joules of work or the energy that you expend to open up the doorway to give yourself air is really, really small. So guys which are doing deeper dives or really, really long tech dives at the end of a dive get really, really tired from trying to breathe in and out the entire time. This regulator goes a long way to give the, the divers the air that they need. So it reduces that work of breathing. So the Adjustment knob over here, you can dial up and dial down. So if you feel that the air system's a little bit too friendly, so it's giving you too much air, you just dial it down for a bit more resistance and then it sort of like slows your breathing down. If you find that you're battling to get air because you're in a deeper dive or you're fighting a strong current, you dial it up and gives you lots of air and that makes you feel really, really comfortable. The regulator also has what we call the VAD. So one of the things you'll notice this regulator doesn't have is a dive pre-dive mode. Most of the Mari's regulators don't have dive pre-dive. The reason for that is because of their VAD, their vortex assisted design. And that is that additional little pipe or hose that they built into the top of the regulator there. Essentially what this does is it splits the air as it comes out of the hose. Majority of the air goes into the main second stage regulator chamber. It spins around in a little whirlwind and then comes out the regulator and you breathe it in. That little whirlwind is what causes free flows because it creates a suction which sucks the, the faceplate in and it gives you lots and lots of air. This VAD, what that does is it cuts the air off. So you've got main section of air in the front and then an additional bit of air which travels through this hose and meets that vortexed air halfway up the chamber and it balances it out and it gives you the air at a really, really great flow rate. And that also stops the free flowing because of the VAD. It also has what we call assisted VAD. So you get a standard VAD which this little clip over here is. So you've got a normal air and it also has a pneumatically assisted VAD. So that's a mechanical valve on the inside that when you turn it on will assist in giving you air. So now you'll have a balanced second stage which can dial up to give air as well as this mechanically assisted valve which will allow a lot more air into the regulator. So if you're doing super deep dials with the VAD turned on and the dial turned up you're going to have a super low work of breathing. So it's going to be a really what we refer to as a very friendly regulator. It's going to give you lots of air. Whenever you need it how much is it going to give you? All of it which is great. If I turn the regulator around it's got its Mario standard T-piece. It's quite well designed. It, We've tested it, it deflects the bubbles quite far away from the, the face. And the faceplate itself is mounted on a hinge at the bottom. And it's quite a solid faceplate they've got there. And then the valves on each side will deflect the water away from the regulator also to prevent free, free flow if you're swimming against a very strong current or if you're doing a very rapid descent and this is pushing against the water. The chances of free flow are very, very minimal. The regulator itself, the second stage, is also covered in that gunmetal powder coating, which I think looks really, really good. It's also a chrome second stage. So it's quite, it's got quite a good feel, quite heavy in the in the hand, but that's because of the material that it's made of. It makes it really, really robust, which is great. So uh, overall, I think it's a really, really great regulator. You've got your 52, no, your 82X uh, first stage, which is balanced and gives you a really high performance of air, lots of it, even down at 200 meters. You've got your swivel at the bottom and the shuttle from that first stage, and it goes down to this really great epic second stage, which has got a balanced chamber as well as the VAD, so it gives you lots and lots of air as and when you need it. So it's a super, super comfortable regulator to uh, to breathe from. So essentially, this would be like the Bugatti Veyron of air systems. It's like the serious oak. In Afrikaans, we said it was the Meneer, and in Zulu this would be the Makulu boss, the serious big daddy of air systems. So there's that review of that Mares regulator. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just give that button over there a click, subscribe to the channel, and you'll 
be up to date with all the funky product reviews we do on an ongoing basis. The more followers we get, the more product reviews we're going to do. So give us a like. Like, really, please, like us. Now, click it. Come on, give us a like. You know you want to. And you can also go check out our social streams. The main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba.ca. We've also got Instagram and Twitter and all the rest. Just give us a follow and we'll keep you up to date with all the funky things that we've got going on. So that's it from me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.